All right, just making a quick video. <clears throat> Always have a frog in my throat. I think it's like uh, I'm too dehydrated from all the coffee. Um, I did. Um, I, I just posted a video on why I think King James onlyism, cultic King James onlyism, is just just way out there. Um, I'm not King James only anymore. Although I do uh, put the King James Bible at the very top as far as translations. Um, but I'll be doing reviews on, uh, I have some reviews I'll be doing on the Christian Standard Bible, great, great translation, and some reviews on the ESV uh, coming shortly. So you can um, put all the attacks in the description box below, but really a lot of uh, just rethinking everything. I put a reset button on everything I've ever learned and was taught of men, um, and I've actually just uh, sought out uh, real intellectual arguments and uh, stuff like that. So, I mean, just a real simple video. But I'm not King James only. I, I, I would be more considered... Uh, actually, I'm on, I'm on a journey right now. I, I would, If I had to go to a text, I would say the TR is probably one of the best uh, of the majority texts. But um, there's a lot more to this, guys. And I'm going to... Since I was in it for 15 plus years, I'm going to show all the problems that I know no King James only is cultic King James only is can answer and uh, <clears throat> and I want to encourage you guys to rethink everything you know about Bible about the Bible itself and, uh, and and the Bible is the Word of God word for word perfect we just don't have a perfect translation I'm sorry we don't so you need to go to the original languages, and there's a lot more to this, and that textual criticism, I don't go through every way they do things, but there's a lot to it. Um, but there are some very good translations in English. And uh, there's a lot more to what I just said, so don't just write me off right away, but we'll get to it later. Till next time, good day. God bless.